Their story of survival has captivated the world. Now, the 12 schoolboys and their football coach, who were freed from a flooded cave complex in Thailand last week, have appeared in public for the first time since leaving hospital. At a news conference, the boys answered questions which had been vetted by psychologists. One boy describing the moment a British diver found them as a miracle. Our correspondent, Jonathan Head, was at that news conference. Two weeks ago, they were trapped and near starving. To look at them now, you'd hardly know it. The most famous football team in the world made their first public appearance since their astonishing rescue with smiles and traditional Thai greetings. And then began a kick around for the waiting journalists. Watching at home was the family of Dom, the team captain, who turned 13 while in the cave. His stepfather, Banpot, hasn't been able to see him yet. With just a few hours to go, it's hard keeping his emotions back. I'm just waiting to welcome him as soon as he gets here, he said. We'll all be there. I just want to hug him. For the first time, we had a chance to hear what happened to the 12 boys and their coach in their own words. They'd gone to explore, just for an hour, they said but found themselves cut off by fast-rising water. 14-year-old Adun, who speaks the best English among them, then described the moment when, after nine days, they heard the two British divers close by. We were digging and we heard somebody talking, but we didn't think that it was real, so we stopped and listened. But it, as it turned out, it happened. It was real. I, I was shocked. I thought there were Thai officers, but when they uh, uh, got out of the water, I found that they, they were English. I didn't know what to say to them, so I just say hello. It was a miracle. It was a miracle. I was shocked. For all of them, the hardest thing in the cave was the hunger. This is the youngest, Titan, who's 11 years old. I try not to think about food, but because thinking about food, it, oh, I try not to think about fried rice. They finished with a tribute to Saman Gunan, the Thai diver who died while trying to save them. Then it was time to go home. At Dom's house, friends and relatives came round to welcome him back. Well, it's been a very long wait this evening for Dom's family, but we think just a few more minutes to go before he comes home and for this very ordinary family hopefully an end to a very extraordinary story. And then he was there, the boy who'd missed his 13th birthday, but with his miraculous escape had been given a second chance. It's not often you get an ending as happy as this. Jonathan Head, BBC News, Maesai, Northern Thailand.